Hi makers, builders, and hackers, Harley here with a quick and easy to make shop tool accessory project. I was working on a repair project a couple weeks ago and needed to put the project in a vise. However, because it was a repair, it already had a finish on it and I didn't want the metal jaws on the vise to mar the finish on the finished piece. So I grabbed a couple pieces of scrap wood out of the pile and uh, was trying to balance two pieces of thin scrap wood with the project and tighten up the vise all at the same time and things were just falling all over the place, getting messy, I figured there had to be a better way. I went back to the scrap wood pile, pulled out a cut off piece of 2x4 and realized the width of the 2x4 was almost exactly the width of the vise jaws and inspiration struck. What I realized was I could make a couple cuts, one down the center, one at about a quarter in on one side, and one about a quarter in on the other side, trim those off, and then do another cut across here, and I would end up with two pieces that would fit over the jaws, giving me a nice soft, uh, relatively speaking, surface to clamp things with. There are six cuts that I can do with just four setups. First setup, I'll cut the lengthwise for the first notch, flip the board over, cut the second notch lengthwise. Move the fence over to the halfway point on the wood and cut the long slit for to, that would separate the two jaw pads. Third setup, move the fence down and cut off the first notch, flip the board over, cut off the second notch. Fourth setup, move the fence down a little bit and finally cut off the two soft pads and the cutting will be done. With those cuts done, we now have a functional set of soft jaws where we can uh, put in a project in there and tighten it down without having the, the metal jaws of the vise come in contact with the project we're trying to keep nice and pristine. So that's it for this episode. Next episode I plan on showing you some upgrades for this to make it a little bit more functional. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe on the YouTube channel. Until next time, go make something. It doesn't have to be perfect, just have fun.